A man with a history of mental illness is arrested in connection with a letter containing what he said was HIV-tainted blood. It was addressed to then-president-elect Barack Obama. The incident triggered the evacuation of a state government building in Springfield last December. Good evening, everybody. Investigators said Saad Hussein told them he admired the president and the letter was his way of seeking help from the government. ABC 7's Robbie Bachewell joins us with details. Robbie? Well, Ron and Cheryl, this appears to be a case of a disturbed refugee from Ethiopia reaching out for help from a person that he thought might be able to offer some powerful assistance, the president of the United States. But Saad Hussein's letter and subsequent mailings to Obama staff and government workers have landed him in custody, facing charges of knowingly mailing dangerous substances with intent to injure or kill. Saad Hussein posted this picture of himself, as well as these rambling notes splattered, according to his brother, in Saad's HIV-infected blood. They were mailed to the Illinois Office on Aging in December 2008, and they contained an orange powdery substance. Information contained in the complaint filed in Springfield by the United States Postal Inspection Service. Receipt of the December 27th letter two days later led to the evacuation of the building. 300 employees were affected. The powder was later determined to be crystal soft drink mix. From what we were told by Springfield Police, Chicago Police do, do have the individual in custody and are questioning. The letter also contained a Christmas card, a return address, and a ticket to the president's election night rally in Grant Park. With concern for Mr. Obama's safety a national priority, the FBI and Secret Service, along with the postal inspectors, quickly came to Hussein's apartment in Edgewater. He had been placed there by a refugee resettlement agency. With his brother acting as interpreter in this apartment, Hussein said the letters asked for tickets to the president's inauguration and that no more letters had been sent. But two days later, nearly identical mailings were received at the same office in Springfield, one of which was addressed to Rahm Emanuel, the president's chief of staff. That's when Hussein was taken in. Um, do you, do you um, think that he was capable of forming the intent to harm anyone, much less the president? No, I don't think so, because in the two years that he was living here, very quiet, always smiling, never violent, never even a sign of violence. He walked around, he, you know, he didn't talk a lot of English, but... You know, he kept his apartment real clean, and, and there was just no indication that, that he would do something like that. Hussein is in federal custody here at the Metropolitan Correctional Center. A spokesperson for the U.S. attorney in Springfield says that his mental state is being assessed, and a report on that is due March 29th. Now, after that assessment is made, presumably the complaint would go to a grand jury to determine the laying of charges, if any. But Hussein has the right to challenge the findings of the mental health assessment. If he's found guilty of the mailing crimes, he could go to jail for 20 years. And Ron and Cheryl, we should be very clear that these charges are about mailing things that you should not be mailing. It has nothing to do with the fact that the president was the addressee. All right. Okay. Thanks, Robbie. Thank you.